Shanghai Peng Shin's you know, background at its core is a, is a construction company. More recently it started to expand out and so it does own water purification businesses again in China supporting the desire to improve environmental and environmental outcomes in that country. Uh, internationally, and maybe I'll focus in here on New Zealand, um, we're probably more well known for our dairy assets, the purchase of what were termed the Crafer farms back in 2012, uh, more recently the Sinlay farms, and we also have a number of applications um, sitting with the Overseas Investment Office to purchase more dairy land. Um, we are also heavily involved in construction in this country, um, so we are doing the Gulf Harbour uh, development. So, you know, tourism, uh, land and land development, hotels uh, are of always interest to us, but by far and away the biggest uh, absolute dollars in investment uh, is through our dairy here in New Zealand. You know, the direct benefits people can often see. So we buy a farm, they are typically under-resourced. So we invest um, uh, money on those farms, but we also invest to improve their environmental outcomes and also the working conditions of our staff. You know, the whole farm for us isn't just a productive unit, it is actually part of our brand story where we're telling our consumers, you know, that we are responsible custodians of the land. But finally, it's the indirect benefits of that, um, of that foreign investment. You know, the fact that money has come in to buy that land, that money is now inside the economy, it's being used by others, it's spinning around in indeterminate ways, it's creating other businesses, it's creating employment. Um, and so I, I'd say in summary, I mean, just, just a number of different ways that our involvement in New Zealand, I think, is to the benefit of New Zealand. <laughs>